In 2012, John Bellamans and his surgical team described a new technique utilizing a 19-gauge needle to pie crust the medial tight structures. This allowed them to obtain a 2 to 4 millimeter opening in extension and a 2 to 6 millimeter opening in flexion. The next advancement of these techniques is now giving the surgeon quantifiable feedback while performing these modified releases and adjust the tension to the ligaments accordingly. After the trial components have been seated, the surgeon is seen to place the orthosensor knee balancer 9 millimeters, similar to the standard trial, into the knee joint. He closes the medial capsule to minimize any artificial tensioning due to an open medial capsulotomy and now takes the knee through a range of motion. As the knee is taken into extension, excessive loads medially are seen, as well as an early mid-flexion. This is showing us that all medial structures are affecting the medial tension. The knee is now taken into deeper flexion and consistently excessive loads are seen on the medial compartment as compared to the lateral compartment. Throughout deep flexion, you have significant rollback. The kinematic tracking shows that the femur and tibia have minimal displacement but an intact PCL. At this point, the surgeon identifies that all medial, superficial, and deep structures are tight. Now utilizing the graphic user interface, the surgeon positions the knee to expose the medial structures. After palpating the tight structures, a technique similar to Bellamin's in which an 18-gauge needle is used to sequentially pie crust both the superficial medial collateral ligament, the pes anserina insertion, as well as portions of the tight, deep medial collateral ligament at the joint line are performed. The graphic user interface allows the surgeon to use dynamic real-time data in order to tension the ligaments. The graphic user interface is showing that the medial loads are sequentially coming down as more of the load is being shared in the lateral compartment. This is done until the intercompartmental balance has been optimized and this is confirmed by distracting the knee joint in multiple planes. Now the surgeon takes the knee from flexion into extension and you can see now where we have appropriate soft tissue balance. The loads are within several pounds of each other and this is seen through a full range of motion. So utilizing intraoperative real-time dynamic data the surgeon can minimize the soft tissue dissection while optimizing the patient's intercompartmental balance through a full range of motion. By optimizing limb alignment, femoral and tibial rotation, and now soft tissue balancing techniques, it is felt that improved kinetic function of the knee in the postoperative period will be seen with long-term follow-up.